Alright guys, if casinos were honest, I'm sure everybody's had a casino ad, it's luxurious, winning, that's what they try to portray, right guys? What if they were honest? Let's check that out from Honest Ads. How would you like to spend a ton of money and receive nothing in return? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I know you could go buy like some cool things that just kind of stay for life instead, guys. You can buy... You can buy like some, you know, like video game console, video games, stuff that you can get return for the money you invest. Know what I mean? Oh, hang on, not so fast. <laughs> he said, hold on, hold on. We want, we need you to waste your money or we are going out of business. And here, the second part, you'll have the chance to turn that money into more money. A very, very small chance, and you'll be surrounded by bright lights and fun noises. <laughs> I know, right? You know, casinos actually have it so that you can't tell the time. They have no clocks. Uh, they have, like, no windows, so you don't know what time of day it is, guys. It's all part of their m marketing scheme. Now we're talking. <laughs> it's called gambling. And the greatest place to do it is at... The Horton, my hundred thousand square foot hotel and money devolved. <laughs> hundred thousand square foot, man. There are casinos in Vegas that are probably bigger than that, man. But here at the Horton, <laughs> they got the money burning. When you gamble, you're guaranteed to lose money. Well, actually, <laughs> my aunt went gambling last week, and he said you you're guaranteed to lose money she won well she didn't win because she gambled she won because she stopped if she stuck around long enough she that's so true man i used to like uh research gambling because because you know i was a staker back in the day and on runescape and i used to research like gambling theories and stuff like how do i win bro but you know they're just straight up saying, straight up saying, just look at the odds, bro. Look at the odds, bro. I was trying to do something called the Martingale system, and it just didn't work for me. I tried for months, guys. We'd have lost it all and more, and we make sure people do stick around. That's why we comp winners, food and rooms, of course, and everything else about our design suspends you in a timeless void, where all that exists is the next ad or the next spin forever. It's why we don't have windows to hide the sun. Yep, yep, yep. Racing across the sky from you. It's why we play looping, nondescript music instead of actual songs that could tip you off to the passage of hours. Oh, I didn't know that, though. <laughs> it's why we have no clocks and banned phones at the table. We don't want you watching the time. Oh. No phones. Isn't there like some sort of cheating app or something? That somebody can use. Uh, uh. Yeah? What if I look at my watch? Oh. Nobody wears a watch anymore. <laughs> Not unless you're XQC. XQC just got a $500,000 watch gifted to him. Except for old people. And we don't worry about them. We know they're stuck here. Evelyn here has been at that machine for 18 hours straight. <laughs> it looks like she's uh, passed out or something, guys. Accurate, though. We shuttled her in right from her retirement home, lured her here with a slightly discounted buffet. And <laughs> <laughs> guys, my, my dad actually goes to, like, a state line, which is, like, kind of Vegas, technically in Arizona, and... <laughs> they offer him like free hotel stays and stuff and he, he'd be going there he'd be going there and we can count on her dumping 96 percent of her fixed income on slots <laughs> hey 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 wake up i wonder if they give them like a free um like rooms or anything guys like free service free buffets slightly discounted buffet hey, dormant players mean loss hey, you're not losing enough money that's what he's like revenue so we keep an eye on her a guard will escort her off that seat though when we see her crotch has gone soggy with pee and you can expect her to shake a turd or two out one pant leg as she crosses the casino floor well i'm uh, 
Hello, bro. That's super gross, man. No turd zombie, okay? I pick games of skill. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's still not in your odds, no matter what. Unless you're playing like poker versus another player, right guys? Oh, of course you do. Toss your chips on the table with wild abandon. You'd never wield if you understood they were real money. Believe that you're smarter than any other gambler. Smarter than mathematics itself. That's I know, right? See, so, yeah, I've been reading up, alright, on this system. I've got a system. Oh boy. <laughs> he seems unfazed by it, guys. We at casinos love it when somebody has a system. Well, I mean, you know, I, I just know what I'm doing, right? You know, like, uh, I, I know you always split eight, so you know split twos when you're going against two, and if you have a soft 18, you gotta check if the dealer has a seven, a two, and eight, and then... <laughs> He's just chilling like, hold on, I have a... If they do, you gotta make sure... I, I have a counter to this. It's the odds. You're not... You know what I mean? They might give you, like, a... 49% at the most, bro, bro, if you can find the right kind of machine and stuff, but why even play? RuneScape gambling's 50-50, guys. You get 1% extra. I don't, I don't, I don't condone it, man. They're real sweet, because if they're not sweet to you, then you got to move on to the next thing. So you know the right move for every hand. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, then you aren't really thinking at all, are you? You're just robotically doing the exact thing you're supposed to do. Is that any fun? Is that really any different from just pulling a slot machine? I mean, the, the, the like the odds, you know, it does make you uh, slightly. It does give you some some uh, chance to win, guys. You know what I mean? Occasionally, machine arm. Uh, some do actually walk off with profit. And they just got, try to keep them playing, but you know, more majority of them, you know, they just go and they're on a vacation, lose a bunch of money. Stuff is so much more expensive in Vegas. Like, I don't know why, bro. $40 for beer and stuff. Like, oh my gosh. Like Evelyn over there? Uh, well, duh. And tell me, what sort of advantage do you have over the house with this system of yours? <laughs> well, if you're asking for the exact odds, I mean, I, I'm not gonna, you know, be the person to... Well, it's none. The house still has the edge. It always does. Oh, and don't think about counting cards. Uh, that's impossible since we installed automatic shufflers. This guy could be sitting at the roulette table and just putting money on black every single time. And he'd probably do just as well as using this complex blackjack strategy. Actually, he'd lose less money that way. <laughs> Guys. Just because roulette's so slow. But smart people move to the games of skill because it gives them the illusion of control. You know what? Yeah, there's no like, I mean, there might be some career winners, but they're also career like uh, losers, bro. At the screw this, I'm leaving. No oh, snap, you lost a valuable customer right there, man. Uh oh, he just got his paycheck. He's coming back. Why can't I leave? <laughs> oh, didn't I tell you? We don't want you to leave. We designed the place as a maze with wide angles, confusingly sending you to yet another casino floor, luring you to play just a little more. Was... Oh, snap. Yeah, if anyone's been to Vegas, bro, you definitely got kind of do get lost there, bro. And it's kind of sad, man. What a dirty tactic, bro. Kind of a move for more of a tux. Not a fan of this. No, it's not cool, bro. So many have lost money. The poor get poorer, man. Uh, sorry, I, I, I'm feeling a little depressed now. Friends, you know, like James Bond or like Ocean's Eleven. Oh yeah, <laughs> casino patrons look like they do in heist movies. Just like the average McDonald's table is filled with a smiling family of four. The closest you're gonna get to that Monte Carlo high life you're picturing is when one of our more probably seen a f few movies where they win big, which is like an indirect. Advertisement for this place, bro, without them even knowing it. Sprit Patrons offers to follow you to your car and service you orally for five bucks. <laughs> um, I think she's dead. Oh, yeah, that happens sometimes. Other gamblers usually just go on playing, even as we send in a crew to pick up the body. The death certificate. Guys, it has happened, right? It just. 
I, I see them playing like the penny slots, man. That might be me in the future. If you will read Heart Attack, not Death by Kino. So we're not going to feel too guilty about it. It's a whole lot better than the not zero number of customers who jump off the roof of the parking garage when the ATM tells them they just threw away everything they had, hoping the dice came up nine. Uh Guys, I would be so depressed, man. Because I lost my RuneScape savings, man, and I, I had so much GP. Uh I think maybe I don't want to gamble after all. I'm just going to go grab some free food and drinks. That's the way to beat a casino. Oh boy, you got a plate of crab out of us and a whiskey sour that's just lemonade. Boy, you sure screwed us over. We still made a killing tonight. If you want to know who really paid for your meal, stick around the casino till morning and watch people leaving. Look at their bloodshot eyes and wrinkled clothes. Watch them slump, depressed into a bus, their pockets empty. I know, this, the emotions run so high there, man. I see like some gambling TikToks. And this guy just kept losing money at the slots, bro. It's kind of depressing. They're weak or maybe their whole life ruined. You want a meal and a drink? Don't ask gambling addicts to subsidize you for it. Get a fucking job and buy what you want like a normal person. Actually, you know what? I'm a couple hundred bucks up. I'm gonna cash out, go home happy. You do that. Some people do go home winners. We depend on it. We need some of you to win to preach the fable that anyone can win. That dream will send a hundred more people here tomorrow to lose and suffer the consequences. Yeah, you keep those. <laughs> Grab these real quick. I'll be back. You hold the table. Oh, there's a dead woman. No one's coming over here. Okay. I've been Roger, by the way. Man. Yeah, kind of pressing, bro. Here's a That's why you can only gamble in like one or two states. Play red 19. You can't lose. Guys, we get it, we get into that uh mentality so much, guys. I used to clean bathrooms at a casino. The amount of people sitting on the throne crying was staggering, and of course they told the toilet cleaner their sob story. As a gambling addict that finally saw it like it is, you're not chasing the money, you're chasing the high of winning. The only way I've ever re reliably won at a casino is by playing so solely that the free drinks cost, like, cost slightly less than in a bar. I'm a former gamble, gamble, ta gamble table games dealer and gambling addict. This is pretty accurate, even if you don't play perfect, if you, if you play perfect strategy, the house says 51%, yeah. It's accurate. I'm a slot supervisor. Yeah, it, it, completely honest. Not a lie channel, bro. Like honest ads for sure. I, I wonder how they're verified with uh, only 82k subs. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Do all my reactions live on Twitch. So please consider donating. I don't make any money doing this currently. See you guys next video. Hopefully we can get monetized later, guys.